Hi everyone, Simon here with the latest Tempin Toolkit update, version 2.4. There's a great new feature to make using the angles and targeting tool more accurate for spare shots and a new way to compare bowling balls in the arsenal tool. So let's head into angles and targeting, switch over from the break point to pin and give ourselves a shot at the 10 pin through center arrow. That gives us the ideal straight line shot all the way from the start, but realistically not many of us actually bowl our spare ball dead straight, especially if we're using plastic so that we don't have to modify our release too much. So now, at the bottom of the pin selector, you'll see a slider for spare ball hook amount, which will take you from zero straight up to around 20 boards of movement, or you can drag the line directly on the lane diagram like so. Once you've added some curve to your spare shot, then like on a strike shot, you can now enable the focal point overlay to give you another reference point to project the ball towards and make sure your launch angle is spot on. Moving over to the bowling ball arsenal tool, you'll notice a new chart button down here at the bottom right. At the moment, I'm looking at the list of all the available bowling balls I've added to my bags. And if I give that a tap, I can compare them on a chart with low to high diff from left to right and low to high RG from top to bottom. It's a great way to see at a glance an overview of your equipment and maybe highlight any gaps that you might want to look for something new to fill. And of course, you can select a single bag if you want to narrow down further. If we switch over to the bowling ball library, where we're currently showing all available US balls released in the last 10 years sorted by release date, we can tap the compare button to show those on the chart. You'll notice that when there are more than 30 balls in the current list, you'll see a little message pop up to let you know that only the first 30 will be shown, and you might want to filter down some more to make the chart more useful. So, for example, let's jump into the filters, set the cover material so we can see just the currently available urethane balls, and take a look at how they compare on the chart. So those are the two big new features in this release. There are also some improvements in the ball speed and RPM tool, where high speed bowlers could only get the launch speed and sometimes couldn't advance the video far enough to get the average speed reading too. I've made some visual improvements in the observation trainer, where some text and icons on the results screen could sometimes be a bit hard to see. And finally, down at the bottom of the settings screen, where it shows the current version that you're on, you can now tap history to see release notes and find out what's new. And that wraps up this overview of version 2.4. It's out now, and as usual, you should find your device updates automatically sometime over the next few days. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can do that via the website at www.tempintoolkit.com or come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as tempintoolkit, all one word, or search for Tempin Toolkit on Facebook. Thanks for watching and bowl well.